Fortnite just added a secret car onto the chapter four map. There's only one way to find this and we're gonna be testing out exactly how to get it along with a ton of other myths. In fact, we've got 14 myths total to test out ranging from ones like being able to throw off-road tires onto dirt bikes or that the Ageless has a special pickaxe and a bunch more. But let's jump into it with the first myth which is that there is an invisible box on the map. Yeah, so apparently if we go down to this area which is right above Frenzy Field and I think the box is actually right next to this respawn van between these cones. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm running into it right here. Hold on, let's see if we can stand on top of it. Oh my gosh, yeah, we can. We're standing on top of an invisible box. What happens if we try to break it? Oh, what? There's an indicator for the pickaxe. If we hit it again, oh my gosh, it did break. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, yeah, it's invisible, so that's confirmed. And actually, this is kind of a good spot because we need to test out a myth with gas cans, and that is that you can stack them on dirt bikes. So let's see here. Let's grab as many of these as we can. There's actually a ton at this gas station. Also, bonus secret, there's a uh, floating campfire right here. That's kind of weird. But don't mind me picking up even more gas cans for a full inventory. But all right, let's see here. So first, let's just try throwing it on top. Okay, no, it just bounces right off. But don't worry, guys, I've got a backup plan. What if we build up above the bike like so, throw the gas can on the floor, then edit it out? It should... Okay, it bounced off, but that was kind of close. Let's see here. We've got two gas cans and wait, yes, one of them got stuck on there. The other one bounced off, but hey, we still got one. Hold on, we got to see if we can get the other on there. Okay, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. They bounce around like crazy. Eh, good enough. Let's see. Um, okay. <laughs> I think one is probably the best we can do, but yes, it does work. Granted, it's tough to do, but, um, yeah, now we've got an explosive dirt bike. As for the next myth, it is that you can place a guardian shield onto an animal. And as we're heading over there, if you guys are hoping for, like, no school next week, wouldn't that be awesome? Quick, leave a like on the video and also make sure to subscribe. So there we go. Just found a guardian shield. Now, you may know that you can actually place these on cars and drive around with the guardian shield on top of it. So does that same thing work with an animal? Oh, sweet. Finally a boar. Get back here. There we go. Got him. Now to just try and throw a shield on top of him and wait, is it no, no, it's not. <laughs> Hold on, I'll try one more time. Okay, that was literally perfect. No, dang it, it looks like it's busted. The next myth here is that the Ageless boss uses the same pickaxe from his battle pass set. This is gonna be an interesting one to test out. I feel like the best way to get him to use his pickaxe is to try and box him in, but like, okay, wait, he just used his pickaxe. I couldn't tell which one he was actually using. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to tell. Okay, he should be using this pickaxe right here. So let's check the replay. All right, slow it down. And nope, he's just using the default pickaxe. That's honestly really disappointing, but also busted. However, what glider does he use? Does he use his special one right here? Now, I also want to test out if the Ageless uses his special glider. So I loaded up a special creative match with some other items like a rift to go here, which will be the perfect item to test this out. Okay, where is he? I see his footsteps. Oh, there he is. All right, so quick, just rift. Oh my gosh. He was literally going to... Wait, there he goes, and oh my gosh, he's using the default glider, even though he just landed in a tree. Well, let's see here, just to confirm in replay. Yep, that is 100% the default glider. Dang, again, that's so disappointing. Oh, and I almost forgot about the skin challenge for this video. Comment down below if you know the name of this skin, and I'll leave hearts on a ton of the ones that get that right. Now, the next myth here has to do with this shockwave hammer, which as I've shown you before, has the ability to launch objects around the map. So we gotta test out the myth that the shockwave hammer can move respawn vans. We've got a respawn van here. So let's test it out, come on. And nope, that one is busted. <laughs> okay, okay, what about an upgrade bench instead? Can you send that flying? Um, nope. It just destroys it. <laughs> My goodness. It can literally launch this water fountain. Um, well, it destroyed it. And you know what? While we're at it, let's see if it can launch a llama. Get over here, buddy. And boom. Okay, so that one did work. I mean, I'd honestly be surprised if it didn't. <laughs> and since we're going on a hammer spree, we got to test it out with a supply drop as well. There we go. It just landed. And then, nope, it just breaks the very top of it. But it doesn't break the bottom. So that's kind of interesting. Now, another sort of new addition in this chapter are these leaf piles, which I wanted to test out. Can they save you from fall damage? So let's start off with a height that isn't too crazy, but if we jump from here, we would definitely get fall damage right into the leaf pile 
And yes, it does protect you. However, we got to take this a step farther and go all the way to the sky barrier. But all right, here we go. We're at the build limit and there is a leaf pile all the way down there. So here we go. Three, two, one, jumping off the top. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to make it in the bush instead. Oh no. But hey, that still works. So uh, the myth we weren't even testing is confirmed. Bushes save you from fall damage. Okay, we need to adjust this. We need to adjust our angle so that we actually fall into the leaf pile. This should be perfect. And yes, it works. So that's confirmed. It does protect you. But after that, guys, is the myth that whiplashes still spawn on the map. So I guess the only real way to test this is to explore around and see if we can find one. But we've got a couple of cars right here that are just a graffiti prevalent and a taxi. So those at least still spawn. But those are the obvious ones. And right here, we've got one of the trucks. So those still spawn. And wait a second. Oh my gosh. Wait. So we just got a rift event that has this character and then a whiplash launching off of a ramp with a bunch of like floating boxes around it. That honestly looks super cool, but is this the only way to get a whiplash on the map right now? I honestly think it might be. So we might have the rarest car in the game right here. I mean, there's another truck, but if we continue to drive around and just look, there doesn't appear to be a single whiplash that spawns on the chapter four map normally. So this is a completely rare vehicle. That's so cool. And I'm curious, can we still throw chonkers onto it? Yes, we can. So yeah, it still works perfectly. I guess that's technically confirmed. Now that's got me thinking with this next myth and that is that cow catchers and off-road tires can be used on dirt bikes. Oh, sweet. Just found a cow catcher. So here we go, testing out the first part of this myth and nope, that did not work. <laughs> I love how it just bounces off. That's so disappointing. But we still got to try out the vehicle mod tires. Only I can find some. There we go. Finally. Here we go. Moment of truth. Throw the tires and okay. Um, that's not exactly what I expected. I guess we got to put that one down as busted, even though this is kind of entertaining. Not going to lie. Oh, it's going to hit the top of the roof or not. <laughs> but how about you can use a fishing rod to catch those floating jellyfish around the map? Step one is to obviously just grab a fishing rod and then, oh, I see some jellyfish over there. Honestly, feel like I'm SpongeBob right now <laughs> fishing for jellyfish. All right, SpongeBob, give me powers. We need to catch one of these guys. Oh, that was disappointing. Come on, second try. Wow, this is a lot tougher than I expected. Come on, there we go. We got one and it exploded. So, um, like you kind of can. Oh my gosh, it's setting off a chain reaction. Yo, <laughs> I don't know. Is that one confirmed? I guess so. But similarly, we've got another myth here, and that is that jellyfish can put out campfires. So let's see if we can lure these guys over to a campfire. No, no, please take your time. Go as slow as possible. I appreciate it. Okay, finally, they're getting super close to this campfire. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and light it. Come on. We need one to get like right on top of the campfire. This dude? Yes, that was so close. Okay, so um, yeah, we got it, but uh, nope, it did not put out the campfire. I guess that one's busted too. After that is a myth that gas cans can still protect you from fall damage. Now that might sound a bit confusing, but basically the idea is that you build up like this, can go pretty much as high up as you want to, and then place a floor. Now all we got to do is throw a gas can down like, oh my gosh, that was way too close to the edge. But we should be able to stand on top of the gas can. Okay, it's being really glitchy. What the? And then if we edit out the bottom, it'll fall down. Nope, that did not work. Okay. <laughs> I think that one maybe still works but we'll just put it as maybe for now. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe and also check out some of my previous videos on the screen right here. There are some super good ones. But again, hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.